Look at another one following him. Look at the one following him. How crazy is that? There he is, oh, a little one. She's flying through the trees. I saw a big fish surface, a little one ate, and then he went airborne. Cute little dude, look at him. Look at him. No, another little one. Okay, I think I, th I think I'm overexcited. I think I'm overexcited. It is not good for your fish to go in the forest. Bears live in the forest. Fish live in the water. And nine out of ten pros will tell you. I mean, straight up, your odds of catching a fish immensely increase when your bait's in the water. There we go. Ooh, a little bit better, but not. Not the big one. He's easy. We got numbers. We got numbers. Babies, but we're getting numbers. All the goal is we just we just gotta make them bigger, that's all. Slow is the key when it comes to bank fishing. Slow down. I mean, your opportunities are so limited. That's what you have to remember. You know, in a boat, you can run all over the place, fish all sorts of different areas in the water column. But when it comes to shoreline fishing, you're restricted to just what you can access, you know, by foot and by casting. You know, right away, your first thought's gonna be, I gotta fire way out in the middle. Work that shoreline thoroughly before you start working out because if I hook a fish way out there, I'm gonna drag it through all these fish sitting shallow. I don't wanna do that, it'll spook these fish. So I start with shallow casts and work deeper into the pond. Fish. Oh, I dropped it. There's a fish. Look at another one following him. Look at the one following him. How crazy is that? And the one following him, it's always, always the ones following is bigger. <laughs> Come here, small jaw. It's one of the cool things about this body of water. I mean, one end of it is all weed and, and up this end of it, you get a lot of rocks. And with rocks comes the mighty small jaw.